see how the ceilings are getting on. So this is the one with the petunia mixed flora and the bedding mix, the multi-floral. Uh, we've got one just here, but that's not a petunia. I don't know what that is. That's a rogue seed, but this is the bedding mix. Just got a few come up, not many at all. The tomato, so on the left-hand side, you've got the super sweet aperitif for my own seed. And on the right, you've got super sweet. Those want transplanting now, they've got their true leaves. In this box, we've got basil on the right-hand side, looking well. We've got a couple, a few down here where they just needed a water. Might have lost those now. And on the left, we've got chilli, basket of fire growing from my own seed and in the back we've got pansy giant on the left so we've got a few of those and on the right nothing those are marigolds and I've used some old seeds so I think they were no longer viable so no success with those but you win some you lose some so let's have a look in the, uh, the hot box let's drift across so in here some of them I've put in the greenhouse now, we'll have a look at those in a bit. So we've got the cucumber, three there. I've got four cosmos. Again, not many, but those were old seeds, so probably not viable. And in here we've got my own fuchsias, pink fizz and a hybrid mix. Just waiting for those to germinate. And we'll have a look in the greenhouse and see how the plants are doing in there as well. Have a quick look in the greenhouse then. So we've got the geraniums that are coming back now. We've got a rogue, I think that's either a sunflower or a zinnia in there. But we've seen in the plants in the heater propagator in the conservatory. I've moved some of them to a greenhouse, so this is zinnia. Doing really well. They were quite leggy, but they should be all right. At the back there, we've got sunflower little leo. They're beautiful flowers. This one we've got Cucumber Diva in there. I think the one nearest us is a courgette. That's right. So this one's a courgette. These two at the back, cucumbers. And on the 22nd of April, I sowed some lupin seeds. My own that I saved. And those are coming through now nicely. Just taking six days to propagate. On here we've got six dahlias, just starting them off in the greenhouse. See if we can take some cuttings from them, no sign of growth yet. And yesterday my order of my giant trailing fuchsias arrived, plug plants. So I potted these on. So we've got five varieties. So this one we've got is Seventh Heaven. Then we've got Peachy. Followed by Holly's Beauty, Deep Purple, and lastly, we've got Swing Time. So these are giant trailing fuchsias. So we'll pop them on once they get established, and then to put them in hanging baskets around the garden. What I also did yesterday was put up some carnation cuttings. So again, these have been rooting in water. They've all got roots on, so I've just potted them up now just to bring them on a little bit and then once we brought them on a little bit we'll then be planting them out and these were just taken from bought flowers so there was some growth at the side so I've taken the growth off propagated them in water and now they're rooted just pop them on see what they look like we'll have a quick nosy around the garden quick update there on the veg patch so I need to crack on with this at some point strawberries are looking good and I have noticed that there you go, strawberries are putting flowers on, so she'll plenty of strawberries. Rhubarb looking great, although it must have been under distress because it's flowered. So if your rhubarb flowers, that just means it's under distress. I did move it the other year, so it might be that that caused it. Notice that the uh, raspberries are putting loads of growth on, and you'll see flowers. So we'll get some raspberries this year. And the grape is returning. Not sure if we're going to grapes this year, we will see. You never know. And the blackberry bush again is cut it right back, but that's coming back again this year. 
So she'll be the a glut of blackberries this year. So yeah, here's just some wood chip. This is from the rowan tree that I trimmed earlier on this year. I've just shredded down the, the branches down. I'm going to put that onto the border as a mulch. Let's have a look at the bottom border then. You notice the grass has been cut, looking neat now. I've weeded this bottom border so it looks a little bit neater, but the silver birch trees, one nearest us and the one to the left, both looking great. So doing really well. And as I said, the borders. That's back border against the conifers will all be dug out this year. I'm building a rockery in this border. So if anyone's got any suggestions for shade loving plants that like it quite dry, feel free to leave comments below. And the side border again. Starting to get there. All looking good. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button. And please feel free to leave your comments and feedback below. I'd love to hear from you, so don't be shy, and of course, I'll reply. See you soon.